Hello everyone, I am Lincoln from Singapore University of Technology and Design. And today, I will be presenting about our paper titled Action Detection via an Image Diffusion Process. Action Detection aims to localize the starting and ending points of action instances in our trim videos and predict the classes of those instances. A common approach is to first extract proposals of action instances before processing each of these proposals individually to produce refined starting point, ending point, and action class predictions. And despite recent progress, action detection remains challenging. On the other hand, diffusion models have recently undergone rapid development and have become popular as an effective way to generate high quality images starting from random noise that performs image generation via progressive denoising. In this work, inspired by the efficacy of image diffusion models, we make the following observation. The three outputs, the starting point, ending point, and action class outputs for the action detection task can be formulated as images, which we call AD images. Thus, this allows us to tackle action detection from a new perspective by recasting it as a three image generation problem, where we are required to generate starting point, ending point, and action class predictions as images. Then, we can leverage the diffusion model's strong image generation capability to generate the three AD image predictions. Here, we visualize the three AD images. For all three AD images, each row represents the prediction at a particular frame. For the action class AD image, the columns of the image represent the different action classes. And for the starting point AD image, they have two columns, which represent the probabilities that the frame is or is not a starting point. And this is similar for the ending point AD image. Thus, using this formulation of AD images, we propose our ADID framework, which stands for Action Detection Image Diffusion Framework. Our ADID framework comprises two opposite processes for the forward process and the reverse process. Specifically, in the forward process, which is indicated in orange arrows, we aim to generate supervisory signals of intermediate steps during training through progressively adding noise to the ground truth AD images. Conversely, the reverse process indicated in green arrows here aims to learn to reverse the forward process. Basically, it learns to denoise and produce high quality AD images from random noise. And this is the main part of our action detection pipeline. However, directly using standard diffusion models for our ADID framework can be suboptimal since they learn to generate natural images while our proposed AD images differ from natural images because AD images also represent a set of discrete probability distributions. Therefore, we propose a discrete action detection diffusion process that constrains each forward diffusion step to produce discrete probability distributions. This enables us to generate the desired high quality AD images from the noisy and uncertain probability distributions more effectively. Yet, Reformulating the diffusion process is not straightforward, and we find that the reformulated diffusion process should also consist of these three properties. Property one is that the distribution should converge towards a uniform distribution in a forward process, and this is a totally noisy and uncertain discrete distribution. Property two, there should be a formula to efficiently jump over T forward steps. And property three, we should have, we should have a formulation for the forward process posterior. Property two and property three are properties that the standard diffusion model also relies on. Therefore, we formulate the forward and re reverse process as follows, where we're adding noise according to a multinomial distribution indicated in NMAN here. Please refer to the paper for all the details. Moreover, in contrast to traditional images which contain rich local spatial correlations in both dimensions, our AD images exhibit different relationship patterns across each of the two dimensions. Specifically, in our AD images, there's a strong sequential ordering between adjacent rows, such as between temporal frames, and this differs from the interclass relationships between adjacent columns. For example, for the action class AD image, the columns indicate the action classes. So we introduce a row column transformer design for our diffusion model to effectively extract class information across the columns while encoding temporal relationships across the rows. A row column block is shown here. In our experiments, we find that our ADI diff framework provides good accuracy on the popular action detection benchmarks to most 14 and activity net 1.3. We also visualize our diffusion process here, which shows how it effectively generates an action class AD image. This brings me to the end of the presentation. Thank you very much for your kind attention.